This video was brought to you by Bedroom Planner, Ken Power, Marcus Beal, and Stolenberg. Good morning. It is yet another fine day here in Orlandsnes. Well, I chose to come here when it was nice and sunny and hot. So this is the beauty of me not having office job anymore. So I can do this. This is this is my job. Yeah, for you guys who don't know, I don't have to waste. 40, 45, 50 hours per week commuting to uh, an office rat job anymore. But anyway, nice weather today. Look at this. Hmm, cool. But I'm going to show you a little trick here. I noticed that this morning the car reported uh, 45 degrees Celsius inside the cabin. It's like, holy guacamole. So I had to check out inside. You see, it's not that hot outside. Uh, I have this one on now permanently for the trip. It's a uh, window shade. You can buy them from Be Good. It's Model 3, tailored for Model 3. You, there's a full set of it. I only brought some of it, which is actually a small mistake because I, I, was, <laughs> I was afraid I will have too much luggage with me. So I should have brought more pieces. But you see the, the sunroof here, the glass here is, is a little bit, uh, yeah, it I guess, I don't know, it just heat comes in here. I have that one on though. <laughs> this is a different one. This is from Evanex. Heat shield. It also helps big time, the top piece. But it gets pretty, pretty hot in here. Even now in the morning hours, and you can imagine in the daytime. So, you see outside, it's reported as only 22 degrees Celsius. So I figured, hmm, see the setting? I use keep climate on. And then I had the fan speed at six, but I switch off AC because uh, the AC, the usually if you run the compressor, it will uh, pull more power. So um, let me let me show you. So if you look at Sky my Tesla right now, you see that the number here. Well, it's too reflective. Hang on. I think I need to move this. Sorry, I'm gonna do this on the fly. Here, okay. You see that we are pulling only 200 watts, 250. Let's say. Let's say 300 watts. We're only pulling 300 watts. So I made sure that the recirculation mode is, is forced to... Well, it's not recirculating. It's just pulling nice and cold, cold-ish air from outside. So if you do something like this, put it on auto. Dung. I heard a little bunk. Compressor started. And now suddenly you see that it's pulling two kilowatts, but of course it will try to cool down the car more aggressively. But even if you set the temperature to, let's say 22-ish, it should still run. Yeah, you see, you're pulling then more power. So I just did this manual mode here, like this, like this roughly. And it was just running like this for actually over an hour while I was still preparing uh, my stuff. And it pulls so little power that you, you can run this, literally, you can run it for <laughs> for a week, maybe, until you run out of juice, something like that. It's just, yeah. So, pro tip. But anyway, I think, yeah, it, we, you see how late we wake up now. We just slack big time. We woke, I woke up at 11. Wifey woke up at noon. Uh, but I think we're going to go to Ondalsnes, downtown Ondalsnes now, to get some uh, lunch or breakfast, <laughs> whatever you call it. We're now downtown Ondalsnes. I just parked over here. I checked the rules, but there's some stuff over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, three hours of free parking. You can use the dial. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it, but uh, just write the time here like this. Wait, can you see it? Yeah, that works. And you know, I just realized uh, yesterday I wasted time going to the supercharger, right? Well, I forgot to check. I didn't do my homework. You see, when you have a Tesla, you get sloppy. And you forget to check all the other options because we actually have 50 kilowatt DC fast charger here plus AC. Is this bigger? Oh, yeah, it's mid, mid, mid. Yeah, so <laughs> it's actually okay price on mid charger because you pay, uh, you pay for kilowatt hour plus minute component, but it's the minute. Component. So if I knew about this, you know, if I plan better, I could have charged here now uh, while, while we have lunch because we're going to have lunch over there. And that will usually take an hour or one and a half. And then you'll be sucking on AC power over here. Or DC, but DC will be too fast. Yeah, so you see, very convenient to have EV. All right, we're waiting for food. Look at that nice view. That's Hurtiruta. Wait, it's an old one. 
but Hurtigruta goes all the way from Bergen to Christian to Kirkenes, and I guess it stops here also. There's another one over there also. That's a new boat. But look, we come here off season. This is the beginning of June, and it's so nice and quiet here. In one month, Corona Summer 2021 breaks loose. <laughs> The food has arrived. We went for mussels with fries, one set each. I have to say, they are kind of... The, the, the fries we get is a little bit sparse <laughs> compared to in uh, Belgium. But man, it's been two years since we had this. Because we haven't been traveled because of COVID. So let's see if this one can beat the Belgian Moule de Frit. Okay. Hmm? Okay, okay. Yeah. Mayonnaise. Hmm. Lamb. Hmm. Round two, we have ice cream with brownie and for wifey, a donut. Mm -mm -mm. Remember, to, remember to ABC, always buy chocolate. Mm. Okay, now we're going to take the gondola. So it's called uh, Romsdal Gondol. I think this is fairly new. And you see, I was about to say the zip line, the, the gondola goes all the way up there. Oh, I had to check the spec. It was 600 or 700 meter over sea level. And they are now constructing uh, a restaurant. It's called Eggen Restaurant, which will open in July. So we are here a little bit too early. Yeah, always come too early. So uh, I guess they will finish before the tourist season. Okay, we are going up the gondola now. Nice view. Wow, those mountains. This is a fairly new gondola, so there is a, right now it's a, a low price, only 190 nook top round trip. See on that side. The second door is quite full. <laughs> Still climbing. Here we are now, almost on the top. There is actually a, a hiking trail you can walk. That, that sounds too uh, exhausting to me. Okay, we are now the top, finally. All right, let's go outside. Wow, we're on the top now, and up here it's kind of cold, so I brought my storm bike jacket. It's a lot colder up here than downstairs. I mean, down, down in the lowland. So here we see, we had lunch there earlier. They're still constructing some stuff over there. And wow, this view, man. Oh, look at this view. Whew. This is the first time I'm up here. Yeah. <laughs> nice day. Wow, this the view here is just spectacular. So you know, I'm not a I'm not a, a mountain walker guy, so I prefer taking the lift up here. But wow, the view here is awesome. You have to come on a day like this. You can see everything. Look at that. Romsdal. Yeah, I think that way is to uh, Trollstigen. And then yesterday we came from there. This is just so beautiful. And then over here. Yeah, that's, that's the way to Ålesund. The Molde. That way. 
perfect day to come up here today. Okay, done with the mountain trip. Now we're going on the river with wifey. We're going uh, canoeing. Yes. So at the camping here, they also have a canoe renting service. Yeah. All right. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, man, this is nice. I haven't been paddling canoe for a long time. Oops. Just. I just squirted on wifey. <laughs> Don't know me. Don't see. <laughs> oops. Oops. Uh, well, I, I'm not sure. I think you're supposed to do it like this. And just left and right. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go the other way. Okay. You see those skills, those canoe skills? There's a little bit of launch launch monster in me. Man, you see, you see how it goes. <laughs> Wifey just orders me. Go up, go. Up. <laughs> the paddle up stream. Go up, go up. And you can do this, and then steer. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Hoop. Eat those buns. Eat those espa buns. Burn those calories. <laughs> Well, I think it's uh, it's getting semi late now. It's time for dinner, and you know, Andalsnes doesn't have that many restaurants. So we figured that since we already rented a cabin, we have to do like the locals. Yeah, and I see the locals over here. They barbecue, they chill in front of the cabin. So that's what we also are going to do. So this is a uh, and uh, this is a gas grill. I mean, I mean gas barbecue that I bought from uh, uh, Bil. I mean, not Bil Tema. Klaus Olsson, we have bought some, uh, we bought some uh, salad, this is a pot potato salad, we have some uh, steak, uh, this is, yeah, I think it's steak, so we're gonna steak, and try this, barbecue, and see how it goes, yeah, let's do the, the chill for now, right, the barbecue outdoor, <laughs> this is outdoor camping life, mm. the steak is on the grill, Thank you. 